Okay, hello everybody on YouTube. This is uh, obviously an unedited video because I'm having a bit of a rough day. Uh, and uh, the latest Assassin's Creed games are just not making my life any easier, so I decided to give them a quit. Uh, I'm going to play the... To keep my mind sane, I'm going to play the original games, Assassin's Creed 1, all the way through to Unity, dabbling in a, uh, in Origins every now and again. Um, except for Assassin's Creed 2. That game is cursed uh, with me for some reason. Every time I play it, after a certain point, it either resets the save data to a certain point, it gets corrupted, or it gets deleted all on its own without me doing anything. So I'm just not going to play that anymore because this is like the 20th time now on PC and PS3, so I'm, I'm just done. Anyway, that's not what this, uh, this, uh, this video is about. Uh, this video is about how awful Assassin's Creed Odyssey actually is and how you can make it just a little bit bearable. Okay, uh, step one. Do not ever go here. Don't go near it. Don't touch it, don't go near it, you don't want it. Trust me, okay? It's overpriced, it's full of bullshit, and if we have to pay $60 or more for this video game, all of this shit should come free. All of this shit should come with the game and be unlockable somehow in the game without having to spend real-world money or play with loot boxes or or surprise whatever the fuck they called it. Okay? It's bullshit. Don't buy into it. Don't give them any more money. They're just a greedy fucking company. Alright, so. Uh, I have here a couple of builds. I, tr I tried, I really tried to keep myself invested. I didn't really like the hood on this one, so I just kept the faceplate here. Uh, I, this one was kind of assassin uh, oriented. I have this one because it's one of the only two winged versions, and I like the concept of just driving my horse off the end of a cliff and not dying, because who really needs uh, a parkour system that's uh, thought out and, and well done. It's much, much better and much more historically accurate to take your winged horse and fly it off the end of a cliff and survive. Um, yeah, anyway. So, uh, I built this with Assassin Damage and um, Isu builds in mind. Uh, moving on. This one is uh, po uh, the Atlantis DLC inspired uh, with Poseidon obviously being the primary focus um, I didn't really know what to do with this one I don't really give a fuck anymore so you're gonna see that winged horse on every build because I don't care about the other ones this one is the pirate set uh, you get it from one of the cultist things I'm not gonna bother looking at which one the assassin bow uh, this one uh, 25% cooldown uh, for all abilities. That's the only reason I really picked this one. Uh, damage on elites and bosses, blah blah blah. This is basically my super hyped up assassin build. Here are the specs. You can pause them whenever you feel like it. And look at it yourself. Over here we have the warrior build. Uh, you get this item specifically from a unique quest. The sword is always on fire, and I picked Prometheus's Sika because I thought that was hilarious. Uh, I originally had this out, uh, this bow to have burning applies to nearby enemies as well as normal arrows or fire arrows, but I thought it was really funny to give myself 600 adrenaline uh, for every, sorry, 600% adrenaline on parry, but uh, I catch fire when uh, all of this gear plus this spear makes it so that my where is it here it is okay so armor bonus melee resistance 105 so you can't you can't damage me physically ranged resistance 104.5 so you can't damage me with arrows elemental resistance that's 100% only because of the 40% fire resistance that I have engraved on the chest uh, I had a choice whether it was fire or poison resistance and I found it inc so much funnier if uh, I was on fire and it didn't matter. Um, but poison is pretty much the only thing that can damage me. And snakes! For some fucked up reason, three bites from a snake will still kill me. Whatever. Okay, so here's the hunter build. I put 
no thought into this. I followed an online video on the best hunter build, and I just threw that in. Okay, uh, it deals plenty of hunter damage, as you can see from these specs. And, uh, yeah, so now we're gonna move... Oh. Gotta move back up to the, uh, assassin outfit. I re... I redesigned, uh, these two outfits primarily because I like the idea of blood-soaked with chains and everything being the immortal, you can't kill me and I'm always on fire and you're on fire but you're dying. Uh, and I liked the idea of playing as an assassin in Assassin's Creed. Funny a concept, don't you think? Um, so I decided to, to change the outfit look to the Athena outfit. Moving swiftly onwards uh, to the abilities. Here are the ones that I picked. Um, do with that information as you will. Uh, I've currently maxed out all the ability, the mastery ranks on the hunter build that matter. I maxed them all out. You can slow and pause when you need to. Here is the warrior build. Just getting close to finishing this. And the most important one, I think, in an Assassin's Creed game, the Assassin build. Da -de -da, de -da -de -da, de -da -de da It actually pisses me off that I'm not going to be able to finish this because I have like extreme OCD, so it's it's going to bother the hell out of me. But this game is infuriating as shit. Okay, so during the teabagging glitch era, I thought, oh cool, that's a that's a unique glitch because I still had the mindset from the 90s where if a game is released in a certain way and it has glitches, cool, those are glitches that exist in the game. There's nothing you can do about it. If you don't like playing them, don't play them. Uh, but this is the generation of everyone's feelings matter. So, a bunch of people got butt hurt online because a bunch of people who were using the glitch were getting higher levels than them, and they got offended. So they complained to Ubisoft, and now uh, the teabagging glitch was removed, partially because of that, and also partially because of right over here. It's not because they care about the integrity of the game. It's because they want to sell XP boosts. They're so full of shit. They're absolutely full of shit. The teabagging glitch was uh, done in such a way where you would you would teabag on top of a person you were trying to recruit, and you would do it over and 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 over. And after like 15 to 20 times, you would level up and get an ability point. And people would do this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and max out everything. So there were no the, like ability points were not needed anymore. Uh, I did the math uh, after they took it away. I didn't actually think they would take it away because it's a single-player game. So what if people are using it to level up faster than you? Their progress shouldn't be your concern. If you enjoy the game, enjoy the game. If you don't enjoy the game, don't play the game. And if you don't, uh, if you don't like how other people are enjoying the game, too fucking bad. But apparently Ubisoft sides with them because it's a lot uh, more financially stable to sell XP boosts to people. This is such a bullshit game, and I'm so done with it. So this is the end of it. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now how you can... And by the way, I bought the XP boosts. Unfortunately, they do not provide a significant increase. They are just there to rob you of your money. It doesn't matter in the long run. And every time you level up, by the way, that uh, experience uh, bar down at the bottom, where it says, uh, what is that, 2,491,000 experience... Name another game where you need over 2 million experience to level up. Name another game. I'll wait. Anyway. This game is such fucking bullshit. So. So the XP boost does not do anything. It, it makes no significant difference. It wasn't like, oh, I kicked up the XP boost and now suddenly every quest is leveling me up or, or taking like a chunk. I got one quest where I got like uh, uh, 140,000 experience and it went from here no. so it went from here to here. It, it was so ridiculous. I fucking hate this game. And I fucking hate that I'm addicted to it. I'm just, I'm, I'm removing it and I'm not going to touch it again. So, right here we have their excuse. They're like, oh, you don't have to spend money. You can just sit here and wait for us to release two items. And then you can buy it with Ori Calcum. Where is Ori Calcum? Well, it's found in the, in the quests. And all over the map. 
but once you collect them from all over the map, you don't get them reset. However, there is a way to get the ability get the ability points quickly enough that it shouldn't matter. I'm just so done with this game. It's such bullshit. I don't enjoy it. This is not Assassin's Creed. This is uh, microtransactions, the Assassin's Creed story. Okay, this is absolute bullshit. So, here's how you get ability points wicked fast. Alright, should be one down here. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, first civilization, steel. Okay, there is a an application on Android, and I think iOS, I don't know because I don't use iPhones because they break stupid easy, um, called Map Genie. Look it up online. Uh, go for, go to the Assassin's Creed Odyssey version and check off everything that isn't uh, for Civilization Steel. And go and collect them right away. Every single one of these is a free ability point. Okay? And there's quite a few all over this map. So go grab those. And uh, once you do, complete the, uh, the story... Uh, the storyline of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, right up until the point where you you go here. The gateway to the Lost City. And you start that modern day bullshit where Layla goes back and forth and finds the different locations and finds out Cassandra or Alexios, depending on which one you picked, because who cares about a linear story? Um, yeah, they turn up in, in, the real, uh, in the modern day, wearing a suit. This is f so fucked. Anyway... So get to the point where you go to meet your dad and uh, complete all that. Then you should be able to start the Fate of Atlantis DLC. Once you can start that, start it. Go to Elysium. Elysium should have the statues of... What's her name? The statues of uh, Persephone. Each statue that you destroy is a free ability point. In the Underworld, there is uh, the... the Tartarus Rifts. Every rift that you seal is another free ability point. Uh, and in the Atlantis DLC, every thing, uh, every box of knowledge is another free ability point. I'll put uh, a screenshot of this one guy's video uh, who, who puts up exactly how many ability points you get throughout the whole thing. But basically, just collect these free ability points, then come back here, complete the main story, and then go to the main menu and start New Game Plus, and then start it all over again. These uh, First Civilization Steels will be reset so you can recollect them. You will keep all of your gear, you will keep all of your ability points, you will, you will keep all your experience, not that it does you any good, um, and you'll just keep racking them up. I believe it's like 24 or 26 hours that you need to actually complete this whole thing that I just explained, where you get the free ability points, you complete the story, and you restart. Should be 24 to 26 hours of grinding. Um, and after you get that done and over with, just keep restarting, keep restarting, keep restarting every free ability point. Really all you guys have to do is get the ones that I've selected here, and all the ones that I have acquired here. For the hunter... Sorry. Warrior. And assassin build. Okay, once you max all those out, all you need is three sets of outfits. The pirate out outfit for the assassin build. You'll need... Uh, th what the hell is this? Oh, right. It's down there. Uh, the Greek hero set, you need the Greek hero set plus this spear from that one mission where you, you have Kira and her boyfriend and you, you can fuck one or the other. Uh, go pick the guy and uh, go to the Spartan that's hidden away in his house. Kill the Spartan, loot him, do not sell this javelin or dismantle it. You need it uh, to complete the set. And over here, this, uh, yeah, the Artemis set. Get those three sets, that's all you need for the re for the entire game. Use this to assassinate, if you get detected and enter open combat, equip this, nobody can kill you, or if you want to kill them from afar, or if you have those daily quests where it's like, kill five boar! How about you equip this guy, go over to the abilities, uh, use this ability, specifically, and because of all the extra hunter damage you'll do, they're all headshots, they all do massive damage, and all the 
boar are killed in an instant, and then you can just turn around and head back. It makes your life so much easier, so. There you go. I've given you all the information that you really need to pass an Assassin's Creed Odyssey. There's the Assassin build, the Warrior build, the Hunter build, all the ability points that you need. And I just taught you guys how to get all those ability points wicked fast in, like, a week. If you spend that week not doing anything else. Okay. So that's going to be all for me. Assassin's Creed Odyssey and every other Assassin's Creed game since sucks. Ubisoft can suck a dick. And uh, you're not getting any more of my money. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. I'm going to enjoy the previous games that I bought from you guys. Peace, war, whatever sinks the boat, and I hope Ubisoft sinks with it. Peace.